Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to review how to find the damping constant. Well, again, assume that we have simple harmonic motion, but the motion is being damped, and let's assume that we have under damping. Remember the equation that we need to use starting out. B here is the damping factor we're looking for. And of course, we know that the omega, the angular frequency, is the square root of k over m if there's no damping at all. We're going to show you an example where after 113 oscillations the amplitude is and I forgot to write the one half here we want this to be one half the original amplitude all right the solution to the differential equation when we have under damping is this and notice that we have the definition of omega sub d that's the damping omega b over 2m and then we have the new angular frequency of oscillation because of the damping factor, which can be calculated like this. We've reviewed that before. So now if we let t equal 0 and we solve this equation, we can then set b equal to the initial amplitude. And the sine disappears because the sine of 0 is 0. And then the cosine of 0 is 1. So we end up with this equation right here. And here we're going to solve this equation for omega sub d. We call that the damping angular frequency and then we can solve for the damping factor which is going to be equal to this well essentially the damping factor is equal to b over 2m but then if we solve the equation notice that we first go ahead and set x sub t equal to half the original amplitude the x sub now drops out then we solve this for omega sub d because the relation between omega sub d and b is right here so we first solve for omega sub d Notice it gets kind of messy, so once we have it written like this, and the period of oscillation, so this is 113 times the period of oscillation, the period of oscillation is going to be 2 pi over omega sub prime. Omega prime, of course, is the angular frequency right here on the oscillations. And then we have to algebraically solve for omega sub d. Once we have that in terms of this, now notice I'm going to set this equal to c, otherwise it gets very messy, and then we can figure out later what that is equal to. So then we come over here, realizing now that we can solve for b is equal to 2m times the square root of that, which is what we have over there, which came from this equation right here, 2m times omega sub d. Notice that we can then solve for c numerically, so now we can solve this numerically for c, plugging in omega sub naught, the square root of k over m. And now once we have that, we can plug that into this equation to find b. So no, notice we have, omega sub, we have c here, now we have numerical value. Omega sub naught is simply taking the square root of k over m. When we're given m and k, and in this case let's take some easy numbers like this, then we know that omega sub naught squared is simply equal to 2. We can plug that in here, and there is the damping constant. So that gives you a quick overview of how to, how to go about finding the damping constant given, of course, m, k, and then how fast the frequency drops out. So after 113 oscillations, we're down to half the original amplitude. And in a case like that, that is how we find b. That's how it's done.